Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit and from all of us who are on this journey to reunite with our vibrational matches in this lifetime. And so I'm going to, I felt drawn to do a quick um, three card read from the Starman Tarot. And so, um, firstly, I'm going to ask, okay, what is the energy? I've just shuffled these. So, what is the energy for today for those that are on this collective journey? What is the energy that we need to be working with today? Oh, look at that. It's the star. So healing, right? Transformation and healing, which is if you go back to the energy read for this week, which I did a couple of days ago, it's all about coming out of this a new wave, um, pushing through into a new level of healing. And every time we heal, we rise up in our consciousness we rise through another veil of illusion. So I'm just seeing like muslin curtains and they're showing me every time we rise up, we just take another veil of that curtain off. So that's the energy for today. Um, the next thing that I'm just going to ask is, okay, what do we need to know about, <laughs> about the, look at that. Um, what do we need to know about what is happening? And look at that, it's the star and it's the Ace of Cups. And uh, the Ace of Cups is, you know, this new, basically a new emotional journey, right? And it's the alien. So the alien was in the reading yesterday. Okay, so, which is, you know, th this is why I kind of always get a little bit speechless because I'm just like, of course, the synchronicities and the connectedness of all the messages you know, I've been doing this long enough to <laughs> to know that it's going to, it's almost like, but still it kind of just stops me in my tracks sometimes because it's just like, yeah, of course, that's what it was going to be. It's amazing. So there is this huge heart healing that's going on and there's this huge, look at her, she's like bursting out of this aquamarine pool of water, lightning striking through all of her, you know, and that's, for, for a lot of us, you know, it feels like this. It might be that you feel like you've been taking lightning shocks constantly by your situation, by maybe the dynamics with your twin. It could have been super painful recently and things in life just being really painful and feel like you're getting like one zap after the next and you're kind of like, really, I don't know if I can take any more, you know. And uh, But it's happening for you, not to you. And that's the thing, it's not until we always look back on, you know, when you're going through that 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 difficult time when you're just taking hit after hit and you're just thinking, I can't take this. And then you look back and about, you know, when that's all calmed down and then you look back and you're like, wow, if I hadn't had that experience, I wouldn't be the person I am today. The person that I am today is different than the person that I am yesterday. I know so much more about myself because I've gone through that. And I think that, you know, this is everything that this is saying, right? Because actually you become, you have another level of respect for your own emotions. And through that experience, through that hardship, and when you rise out the other side, you basically become, you have a, a new level of emotional kind of respect for yourself. And this is what this is saying. Because this twin dynamic is alien. It, they are the legal. <laughs> Basically, they're the alien because this is such a, this is so alien to our normal society's ways of being in relationships, working dynamically in relationships, everything. It's like a completely alien concept that you are, you know, you're not following the rules and you're not doing such and such and all of that stuff that's absolute bollocks um and that's why you know that's why we're healing because we're healing into a new emotional truth right the ace of cups is a new emotional beginning <clears throat> and uh that's happened because we've gone through this you know a huge healing journey you know and that journey is is never ending you know the journey is never ending it's just that we learn to take the shots a little you know every time we get take shots we learn to deal with them better we learn to ride the waves better we learn to when we do get dunked we can pop up much quicker you know that's the thing 
Um, so I'm going to read the alien card because this is what also came through in the reading that I did yesterday in the energy read. <clears throat> and so that's the message that wants to come through. But again, very, very synchronistic to yesterday's energy read about the huge heart healing that we're going through to bring us into a new emotional awareness. Um, and that, you know, the veil of illusion, exactly like in yesterday's read, it's just getting thinner and thinner. And with that comes the ability to look at every situation, every lightning bolt as, you know, a form of growth, you know, it's, which is, you know, once you move into that objective place of realizing that everything is happening for you, instead of feeling like it's happening to you, um, then that's a really powerful place to be because suddenly you can be objective about all of the shit that's going on around you and just think, it's okay, this is teaching me and I need to go within, I need to breathe, I need to practice all of my, you know, you know, or any techniques that you use, you know, like mindfulness or meditation or walking, um, lying on the ground, on the grass, that's what I do a lot, by trees, you know, walking, like whenever I walk, I will always walk with intent. So every step I take, I just take a step onto my golden path. Every And every step I take, I leave behind and I imagine a black brick being let go. You know, and those are all of the energies that I, could, that I need to let go of that aren't going to take me onto my golden path. And these sorts of things, it just becomes a part of a daily practice. It just becomes part of who you are, part of your life, right? Uh, so everything you do, you're doing consciously with the intent of working your energy, working your vibration, raising your vibration, um, living in a vibrate, because we are living in a vibrational planet. And the more you play with the universe, the more the universe will want to play with you. So the alien, this is the message. So, I bring back knowledge from distant places. In the Starman Tarot, the alien replaces the Hermit card, which traditionally invites the receiver to turn their attention inwards in the act of contemplation and inquiry. To retreat from life and ask the big questions, the alien is different. He arrives from the void with ideas, wisdoms and technologies, a translucent presence glowing with the sacred geometries and universal pattern of the flower of life. Oh my God. Oh my God. Right. So yesterday, again, I mean, kind of, right, go and check out, if you haven't checked out the energy read from yesterday, the, the, um, I pulled sacred geometry cards and the union sacred ge geometry card was the cosmic flower. And, uh, it was on the divine counterpart side, it was the, oh, I love this, it was romantic love. And on our side, it was earth. And then the union together was the cosmic flower. And because we are birthing this new, you know, love onto the earth, you know, creating this cosmic flower of love. And so, and of course the flower, you know, a flower has to grow out of the shit, basically. You know, to plant really good roses, you cover them with shit and then they grow up through the ground into this beautiful blossom. And so that is just so amazing that that's come through in this card. Again, I shouldn't be, <laughs> I should know this shit by now, but still every time it's like, no way, that's the coolest. Okay, so, sorry, I got carried away. So glowing with the sacred geometries and universal pattern of the flower of life. In culture, the figure of the alien has moved away from cults into the mainstream of popular culture. Their symbolism continually evolves, often a repository for the fears and phobias of a segmented and disconnected population. It is easier to jack into the fantasy world of cyber culture rather than talk to our neighbours or families about anything of meaning. Overwhelmed with information and content, we aren't able to distinguish truth from falsehood. Verify the source and understand the context in which it arose. Ha ha, the rose. We feel confused, disempowered and a nagging sense of alienation. In a world where distance or remoteness enables and creates space for imaginary lives, snapshots of the good life, all glowing smiles, it can be, easily to, it can be easy to feel estranged, different and not part of the gang. We simply don't belong. This alien, though, is here to lead you back home to yourself. The alien, the outsider, the rebel, the stranger, 
the one you have feared yet also secretly desired, is here to remind you that you are perfect as you are, beneath the mask of cruel imperfection. He represents your own hidden or lost wonder and miraculous powers, the parts of you that have become alien to you. In the difficulties of life, the learning the rules and the consequences of family, school, work and relationships, parts of ourselves must remain hidden, suppressed, denied. Parts of the whole remain hidden and unknown. The alien signals your urge for freedom, naked, untainted. There are no masks, there is no great cover-up. He catalyzes self-discovery and ignites the drive to question, challenge and dissolve the wa walls that box us in. There is a remembering, the semblance of something more astonishing, more beautiful and utterly miraculous surfacing. The rekindling of dreams, new possibilities, new worlds. He invites you to weave your earthly wisdom into new forms and expressions that have never existed before. He lifts you way above what you thought was possible, way beyond what you thought was you, lifting you out of your personality and its defences and placing you back into yourself, whole and complete. The alien who carries spectacular visions and wonders must always seek a way home to the stars, the light from afar, being in this world but not of it, reminding you that you are always, no matter what, on a journey back home to the light. Oh my God. So how beautiful is that? So know your worth. You are perfect the way you are. Be free. Seek answers within you. Go deeper and understand more of the universe. Take the time to do something you've never done before. Okay. So that is just such a beautiful message because, of course, through this healing that your twin gives you, remember, we're always, always the mirror for each other. Through that healing, we get to another emotional truth. And through that, it's because, you know, the alien, just like it said, you know, we, we pull each other to the light. You know, we all pull each other along to the light by feeling like we are these little aliens walking around this planet where, you know, most of the people don't know what's going on. Well, most of the people would not understand a twin flame journey, would not, uh, are not awakened to a spiritual truth to themselves. And so, of course, we do feel like little aliens walking around this planet, um, but that's the point. We're here to guide each other to the light. And that's why it's so amazing. So I just, again, I just can't get enough can't recommend this deck highly enough. It Oh, look at that. It's the lovers. <laughs> I just picked it up on the lovers. You know what? I knew when I was shuffling this card deck before doing this reading, I kept seeing the lovers card. It came, And I shuffled because I thought, oh, that's so I'm going to really, really shuffle it. So it's really, really hidden in there. Um, and but of course, of course, it wanted to come out the lovers. So, of course, you're the divine lovers and you are the honey to the bee, the bee to the honey. So, you know, trust in your journey and really know that you are little, we are all little aliens walking along this planet, you know. E.T., you know, E.T. phones home and he has his little finger glowing in the light. And uh, that's what you do. You, you, with your love, with this incredible love that you're bringing to the planet, it's like you've got a little E.T. finger and everything you touch just gives it this amazing technicolor glow. And so that's another little thing. Everything you do today, think you've got your little E.T. finger, everything you're touching, you're glowing and you're creating this technicolor world all around you. So there you go. And amazing. I knew I was going to be drawn to this for a reason today. And so just these cards, they never fail. They're amazing. So I hope that helps. Have a great day. So today's energy, all about healing, all about being, you know, really appreciating this energy that you're working with and uh, really appreciating this journey that you're here to bring Technicolor to the planet. All right. I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.